When Manchester United kick off against Liverpool on Sunday, it would have been 70 days since Liverpool beat United 3-1 at Anfield. But so much has changed since then. Jose Mourinho was sacked only two days after that match and Man United have undergone a major transformation thanks to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer to the point where United fans are going into this game on Sunday with a real belief that we genuinely can get a result against Liverpool. But how has Solskjaer changed Man United? What I'm going to do in this video is run through all the things I feel he's majorly changed. And that is what has transformed United. But before we get into it, if you are new to United People's TV, make sure you go down there, subscribe and get involved. If you already are part of United People's TV, make sure you like that video and share it. But let's get straight into it. The first and arguably most important thing that Solskjaer did was to get that switch in mindset from the negative to the positive. Right from his first interview as a United's caretaker manager, you saw just how much Solskjaer got what it meant to be United manager. You know, as a player, I, I, I gave everything I had. Uh, and now walking out, leading the team, just being part of this team, because that's, that's what I am. I'm part of uh, a huge team. Uh, we're playing for the supporters, we're play, playing for our pride, we're playing for uh, the club's uh, history. Um, but to be honest, it's going to be very, very special, uh, I have to say. This was a manager of Manchester United saying that he's going to get the players playing for the shirt, playing for the pride of the club, for the history of the club. And to go from Jose Mourinho to that, it was a substantial shift in a mindset from negative to positive. And Solskjaer just exuded that positivity that fans immediately got on his side. He's a club legend. So he was always going to have fans on his side. But just hearing him and how he spoke straight away, you knew that no matter what happened, Solskjaer was going to try his hardest to re-implement the United way back at this football club. And hearing Solskjaer talk about United as this family, you just couldn't help but just be absorbed in everything that Solskjaer said straight away. First thing I felt when I came uh, to United is a family club. It is. You know, you're, I was so amazed when I got to the club uh, how close-knit everyone were. And it's a family. Uh, but then again, then I... It evolved, it developed, and you see the winning instinct. And it's about giving youngsters the chance. It was just, I've based, I've built, call it Molde, I've not me building Molde, but I've, this is my, my model. Man United is the model. You have family, it's tradition, it's history, giving youth a chance, attacking football, uh, and winning. It just so happens that as soon as Solskjaer came in, Victory after victory after victory followed. And it all started with that 5-1 against Cardiff. Was that a coincidence? Absolutely not. That was the Solskjaer effect straight away. Before we get into all the other points, I want to say a shout out to OneFootball for sponsoring this video on United People's TV. If you haven't got the app already, seriously, there's a link in the description. Go down there and download it. It's free. I get all my United news from there. You can have your own customised news feed with all the latest United scores stats, transfer news, everything you could possibly want from Manchester United news in one place, in one app, and it's free. So make sure you go down there, click the link in the description and get it, because seriously, you're missing out if you don't have it. Back to Solskjaer and how he has changed Manchester United, and the second major change that he's done, as far as I'm concerned, is brought back that counter-attacking style of football that used to be so synonymous with United, but had been lost in the last few years. But Solskjaer has got his United side to counter-attack perfectly on more than one occasion. And in an interview in February, he made it clear just how important it was for him to get his United team playing on the counter-attack. Solskjaer said, the way we play with pace and power, we should never forget our history of counter-attacking, even though we are one of the teams that want to dominate games. If teams drop deep, we need to find a way of playing against those teams but also, when we defend, we defend to win the ball, to counter-attack quickly. And one look at the stats backs up the fact that Solskjaer is bringing counter-attacking football back to United because under Jose Mourinho, in the 17 Premier League games prior to him being sacked, United had what Opta would consider to be a fast break. Three times. Under Solskjaer, we've had 11 in nine games. No other team in the Premier League has had more. And if you look at, you know, take Spurs, for example, that goal from Rashford, on the counter-attack, one ball from Pogba over the top using the pace of Rashford, a wonderful finish. The whole game against Arsenal, 
It was like a game against Arsenal of old. Sitting deep, hitting on the counter-attack, and their put defence can't stop us. It was beautiful to watch. And for United fans, watching United hit hard on the counter-attack, well, certainly for me, it reminds me of our best teams, especially like the 2007-8 side, that double winning team with Ronaldo in, used to be impossible to defend against on the counter-attack. And for United fans looking at the squad, we have Martial, Lingard, Rashford, Lukaku, Popper, so much pace, but Mourinho rarely utilised that weapon. Solskjaer's got it out the cupboard. He's locked and loaded it. And teams can't really stop it. When it's in full flow, United on the counter-attack is blowing teams apart. And Solskjaer has brought that back. And just like counter-attacking football was inexplicably tucked away in a draw, so was Paul Pogba. But that is not the case anymore. We all knew that Paul Pogba was playing within himself under Jose Mourinho, and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has shown just how much he was playing within himself. In 20 games this season under Jose Mourinho, Paul Pogba had five goals and four assists in 1,597 minutes. Under Solskjaer in 12 games, Pogba has nine goals and six assists in just 1,062 minutes. Pogba now has 11 goals and eight assists in the Premier League and everywhere you look, the stats are phenomenal. He's second, since Solskjaer has joined, he's second in the Premier League goal scorers charts. He's second in the Premier League assist table. He's top when you combine goals and assists and no player has had more shots than Pogba. No player has had more shots on target than Paul Pogba. And this has all come from a manager who trusts and believes in his player. And we knew that was the case under Mourinho, but we just hoped that that relationship would be repaired and it would work, but it didn't. And now we're seeing what Pogba can do in a United show. And he's got a manager in charge of him who just lets him express himself, lets him be free on the pitch. Because Pogba, right now, probably the, the informed player in Europe, is there anybody else in Europe playing better than Paul Pogba at the moment? He's certainly the best in the Premier League. And going up against Liverpool on Sunday, United fans are rubbing their hands together at the thought of him playing against Jordan Henderson. And I hope that Pogba can deliver. But he's been sensational under Solskjaer. And that simply is because of Solskjaer's man management and how he has allowed Pogba to express himself. Mourinho didn't do that. Solskjaer's doing that in abundance. And Pogba isn't the only player who's benefited from Solskjaer's management style. Just look at the growth and the maturity of Marcus Rashford. Marcus Rashford under Mourinho, he was second choice striker behind Romelu Lukaku. That forced Rashford to play out on the left, play out on the right, play anywhere, just to get minutes. But Solskjaer has come in, taken Rashford under his wing and said Rashford can be as good as Harry Kane. High praise. And Rashford's delivered six goals in nine games. The winner against Brighton, the winner against Leicester. And for me, the most important goal, the winner against Spurs. Because Rashford, you know, previously he, he would have plenty of chances, but he wasn't clinical enough to be United's number nine. In that game, that was his one chance. And he buried it with a plomb right into the corner. Didn't just lash his foot through it, he placed it. And Solskjaer was a wonderful striker in his pomp. And I think... He is teaching Rashford how to become such a better player. And with Rashford, it's not just about goals. That's why United fans love him. Because if you look at what Rashford does all over the pitch, nobody, nobody plays more for United than Rashford. That assist against Chelsea, he's got something else in his locker. He scored three kicks before. But his overall movement and just sheer desire to be in possession of the ball 24-7 is incredible. His energy is relentless and having him as a number nine has transformed United's attacking shape entirely. He is the reason probably we've got that counter-attacking threat because he can sit on the shoulder of the defender the whole time and Pogba is looking for that pass now. Rashford has been nothing short of sensational as a striker under Solskjaer and again that is completely down to Solskjaer's management style and giving a player belief and the confidence to express themselves. Pogba's done it with plenty of goals and assists, and so has Marcus Rashford. But as much as Rashford has been improved, Pogba's been improved, the return of counter-attacking football and a positive mindset, the thing that has surprised me the most under Solskjaer has been the substantial improvement in our defence, which I thought was complete and utter trash under Mourinho. Solskjaer's shown that maybe 
it's a little bit better than we thought it was. In the space of a couple of months, it's clear that Solskjaer's coaching methods with McKenna, with Carrick and with Phelan has helped to improve this defence. Under Mourinho, we conceded 29 goals in 17 games. Under Solskjaer, we conceded six goals in nine games. Lindelof looks like an absolute star at the heart of our defence. Sure, his performances are improving. Hell, Smalling came in against Chelsea and could have been nominated for man of the match. United's defence has just improved dramatically and it's that Chelsea game that, for me, shows just how much our defence has improved because Chelsea were knocking on the door all day long. Every time Eden Hazard had the ball, you shat yourself. But United's defence is facing less shots because Herrera and Matic are defending from midfield. Up against Hazard, Herrera was there to double up with Young the whole time. He couldn't really get a good shooting position. Just the whole team as a unit against Chelsea was disciplined, organised and it looked like a Premier League defence. Now, we haven't said that much for some time, but that is, again, down to what we're seeing from Solskjaer. His coaching methods and what is working is bringing out the best in Rashford and Popper up front, but the best in Lindelof. Clearly, Smalling was confident enough to come in and play like that. Sure, he's got confidence as well. Clearly, defence is still the weakness of this United squad. I'm not saying it's the best defence in the world. It's just that it's improved dramatically under Solskjaer in comparison to what it was under Mourinho with the exact same players. And again, that's down to him and his management. Yet, as much as we've had an improved defence and all these other things I've mentioned, the real major shift and change for me that's happened under Solskjaer is far more simple. How fun is it to watch United again? It is a buzz to watch Manchester United play football again. Attacking football in abundance, counter-attacking, solid defence, Paul Pogba magic, Marcus Rashford magic, Solskjaer smiling in the dugout, smiles everywhere. Look how loud the away ends are. This is because Solskjaer has just linked everything back together at a club which seemed massively disjointed in Mourinho's third season in charge. And for United fans, we all felt somewhat disconnected with our club because of everything that has happened, and just everything we were doing on the pitch and off the pitch. Solskjaer has just brought it all back together in such a way that it's hard not to get swept up in the wave of enthusiasm that's running through the club. On and off the pitch, everything seems to be aligned and going in the right direction now, where previously it was all over the fucking shop. You didn't know what we were doing, why we were doing it, or where we were going next. Under Solskjaer, everything seems very clear, precise, and in the United way. And that's because he's been brought up in the United way. 12 years at the club as a player, two years at the club as a manager. He's learned from Ferguson how to be that manager. And it's clear that those ideologies are just, just slotting in perfectly at United. That's the reason everything is working at the moment. It's not like we tried to bring in a manager and force him into United and force United to adapt to him. We've all just moulded around Solskjaer and it just, everything feels right. And in that 70 day period, Solskjaer has brought that family back together that he said, that United family feeling that he used to have. We've got that back now. And that's because of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and what he is doing with Mike Phelan, Kieran McKenna and Michael Carrick. Heading into Sunday against Liverpool now, United fans have got a real genuine belief that we can beat. Liverpool. We didn't have that earlier this season. Even when Lingard snatched a goal, you knew something was coming and Shakiri bangs in a couple. Que sera. Not the case anymore. Solskjaer really has got United fans on board, the players on board, everybody on board. There's a real belief running right through the club. And that's all down to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and the great work he has done. And what United fans are experiencing right now, as far as I'm concerned, is the absolute dream. A genuine club legend in charge of your football club that everybody loved before he became that manager, then blowing all expectations out the water, winning games left, right and centre, scoring goals left, right and centre. It's, it's the dream for a football fan to have a player that you used to love being in charge of your football club and doing it so well against expectations. 
Now, I'm sure the bubble may burst at some point this season, but I fucking hope it's not against Liverpool on Sunday, because if we beat Liverpool on Sunday, my, what a buzz that will be. And even if we don't, I know that United will play like United should against Liverpool. If we lose at the end of that, we were beaten by the better team. But in the last few years, we haven't gone into a derby feeling like that. And that is all because of the great work that Solskjaer has done at Manchester United, how he has changed Manchester United and how he has made Manchester United remember what Manchester United should be as a football club.